Welcome to the official Peel Section Podcast. We are coming to you live from Collect Co. in Lebanon, Tennessee. I'm Doug, and I'm joined by Corey and Brian. And, Brian. and this is our special SummerSlam preview show. First of its kind, hopefully not the last. And uh, you guys got anything before we dive into it? I believe you had a disclaimer. Oh, yeah. We did want to discuss... Um, just to avoid any confusion going further, we are we're fans of professional wrestling. That's right. We do not claim to be a part of the business of professional wrestling. If we use terms that maybe would be considered insider terms, and that offends people, I would like to pretty much just say, I guess, get over it because we're fans, and that's how fans <laughs> talk now these days about professional wrestling. That's right. Uh, we know what's behind the curtain. We know the terms because the terms have been publicly put out there for everybody to know. Don't hate the player, hate the game. What, what he said. It, it so we're not saying anything like the word job or anything like that to be cool and to act like we're in the business. This is just how people talk now. So let's uh, hopefully that would clear that up because I, I know so. I've heard on so. other shows that I've heard people getting grief for saying words. And yeah, we're not trying to be some kind of fancy wrestling insider we're just a bunch of idiots like talking about wrestling so that's, right. that's all this is so uh we can go right into it now if you'd like unless Let's do you'd, it. you'd like to add anything to that no no, no. that sound good to everybody okay good glad that's cleared up all right well SummerSlam is upon us that's right it is uh currently we are recording this on a thursday it is two days away yep. and uh it is taking place in cleveland ohio which means Logan Paul will have home field advantage. Oh, wow. Oh. But, which I'm drinking my prime hydration drink today <laughs> yes, as an official is. sponsor of both SummerSlam and the Hill Section podcast. It's not an official sponsor no. of our podcast. Unless you so we'd like it to be. Give us money. That's yeah. Fine. Um, so we could start with that match if you'd like. Let's do it. Let's Logan Paul versus LA Knight. Uh, yeah. For the uh, United States title. As uh, he is uh, actually wearing an LA Knight I shirt. I do have right my now. LA Knight shirt on today. And, you know, just it was what was clean this morning. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's a match that's been built up for a while. Um, they've been doing a lot of back and forth talking behind the scenes. LA Knight breaking into his house, swimming in his pool, you all know. kinds of nonsense. Yep. Um, having said that, does anyone actually believe LA Knight's going to take home the U.S. title this weekend? I'm going to go with a no. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm kind of with you on that. However, they have been teasing LA Knight title runs for a while, and they never give him the title. Right. So it wouldn't shock me if he gets it, but I, we, I think we have discussed in the past, too, he doesn't really need it. He's over without it. The money is with Logan Paul. Yeah. The money is with Logan Paul. Like the, the guy who we no longer say his name, was pushing him for a little while, then he left, you know, for his reasons, and then he's just back in the cycle again. I don't have any idea who you're talking about. Oh, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> pretty much we all agree Logan's going to go over in his hometown. That's right. You don't think there's any funny business or shenanigans? Well, I... Uh, Maybe some brass nuts. Probably his little peon will come out and, you know... Dressed as a prime bottle? Yeah. He'll probably do a 360 dive off something. Yeah. That's, so the usual... The usual shenanigans. Stuff. That's okay. right. That's right. Well, I mean, anything else you think might go on with this match that might be interesting? You're not looking forward to this match? I'm not particularly looking forward to it. Okay. Just I know you're not. I know that I'm the lone LA Knight supporter on this panel. So that is correct. I am looking forward to it because I feel like both these guys usually are entertaining mm -hmm. and put on a pretty good show. I, so I will give I'm you. I'm looking that. forward to the match. I will give you that on um, entertainment wise. Okay. Yeah. So we're looking at that would be entertaining. Moving on to our next match. Let's go with Bailey versus Nia Jax. I'm sorry, Queen Ooh. Nia. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Does this match do anything for you guys? You're talking me out of watching the show. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> or at least tuning in later in the show. Yeah, I love Bailey. I'm a big Bailey fan. Yeah. Um, I'm not as big of a baby face Bailey fan, but I'm happy that she's got a title. And Her title run has been terrible. Yeah, True. it hasn't been great, but yeah. it's not going to get any better this weekend because she's going to take on Nia Jax. This is the question. The cash in, money in the bank. That's where the money's at here. And it would make sense, too. Yep. So. But I could also see her trying to cash in, and Nia 
getting offended that she's doing so and then beating up Tiffany Strat. Because Nye does things to steal joy from all of us. Yep. So I could see that. Who do you think takes it? Who walks out? I think Bailey. Yep, same yeah. thing. But Bailey. I think if you put the belt on Nye, you're a lunatic, but yep. that's happened before. So, so you're saying Bailey walks out and Bill cash in? Uh, or, or doesn't cash in. Or no cash in, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. The cash in would be way more interesting and entertaining. It is SummerSlam, so they do like to do crazy stuff. I think Stratton leaves with the belt. I hope that you're right, but I don't I don't know. It's yeah. kind of quick. But that would be nice. That would be nice. It's the only possible way to make that interesting. I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> so, none of us believe Nia Jax walks out with the belt, just to clarify. 100% correct. Well, that Nobody will that, that will also no. make me happy. What was that, Brian? Nobody wants to see that. Well, no, no I don't believe anybody wants to see that. Except The Rock. It, I was going to say, other than your family, which <laughs> I don't even know if The Rock wants to see it. The yeah, I was like, like, I don't even think that yeah, would make happen. her the queen, make her happy, and that was yeah, 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 yeah. So let's uh, stick with title matches, which we don't really have any choice. I think everything else is a title match. True. Braun Breaker, Sami Zayn. I think I thought Braun was winning the last time, so I 100 percent think Braun goes over here and starts a new Intercontinental title reign. That's my guess. I'm 100 percent with you on this one. I think it's it's his time in quotes. I agree, and I feel like they're strapping the rocket to his back, and Sammy doesn't need a belt to be over. No, no, he's, so, he's uh, over, so they've given he him can a pass, great it, run. pass it to the, the newer crew, so, yeah. Now, there's one other person here that hasn't spoken up yet. <laughs> Breaker. Breaker's taking the belt. Okay. Yep, yeah. all right. I think he takes it. I, I really thought it should have been a squash the last time. <laughs> he's going to bulldoze him in spectacular fashion. Okay. And no, you don't think any shenanigans no run shenanigans. in? No shenanigans. Ilya, shenanigans. nothing? Uh, I was going to say there might be a little little interference, but it's just going to be squash. You know, nothing's going to come of it. Yeah, and like I said, it's nothing against Sammy. I no. think Sammy's been great in this role, but he doesn't need the belt. No. And no. at this point, Braun kind of needs something to be – because they're, they're pushing him like he's a monster. Yep. So you have to let him start winning these matches. I didn't like the decision to lose clean to Sammy. If there was some schmas or something, I would have liked it a lot better. But it was just, he just won clean. Yeah. Um, it was weird to me. It kind of like Breaker hurt himself in that match. And then he got beat. And I was like, did they do a switcheroo? But again, I'm just a fan. I'm just guessing. I'm not an insider or anything. Yeah, so I don't know. It just it was weird to me the way that last match ended. I just hope he doesn't watch as Frankensteiner. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's been doing them pretty good. Did I miss one? Did no, he's he... falling off the ropes twice doing it. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I'm just so, not paying attention. Yeah. Because it well, seems like to me like his thing is to do it and then like lean back and like jump up at the last second and get it. Is that? Yeah. On Raw, he's, he's missing it some. Okay. Ooh, ooh, uh. Well, maybe I need to watch Raw in its entirety because I think I've been missing some of it lately. <laughs> Okay, so new Intercontinental Champion across the board. All in agreement on that? 100%. Yep. Good. And I'm totally good with that. Yeah, yeah. All right. I don't know which one to go into next. I kind of do. We're going to go to Gunther, Damian Priest, World Heavyweight Title. Because there's not as much to discuss with that one as there is some of these other ones. True. Um, I'm looking forward to this match quite a bit because of the build. Yeah, yeah, it was first yeah. announced, and you know it's been kind of in the works for a while because of the King of the Ring. But the work they've built through the promos and the fights and the backstage fights and everything, they've it been, looks like it's going to be a physical fun match, and I'm looking forward to they've it. They've been sol solidly building this up, so I think this one be you know both of them are very talented guys, so I think this will be a really good match. Agreed, sir. Uh, Priest Ron has been lackluster at best; it just hasn't clicked. So yeah. Yeah. Gunther's taking it off, and they're gonna. I the think rocket. I think Gunther's yeah. winning. Yeah. I just Same. um I think it's been, and I think you know we were talking like there's not as much to discuss in this match. I think there's possibly just as much to discuss in this match as there is Liv and Rhea because the same. It, some of this may depend on where this, which one comes first on the card, because you could already have some weird back uh, yeah. interference and things happening, but. I definitely think there's going to be a lot of Judgment Day interference, possibly. I know we've discussed the possibility of possibly Finn costing them a match. Mm -hmm. um, we've also discussed the possibility of Liv actually being with Priest 
and this being all the whole thing with them pulling the wool over everybody's eyes. So who knows? But um, I definitely think Gunther's going to win. I definitely think there's going to be some kind of Judgment Day interference that'll cost him. I don't know where you yeah. sit with that. You're looking, Brian's looking at me like he doesn't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. There's a lot of things they could do with it. The Finn turn, if Finn does turn on Damien, at least sets up a program for the future so yep. they have somewhere for Damien to go after losing the belt. So that's the, probably the move they should go with to give them both something to do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think, I mean, I think Guther's been in, in a good place to have this belt for a while. I mean, his Intercontinental title run was who's amazing. His, who's his first Dude. defense, though? Who's that? Gunther wins. What's his first defense? Who do they have to have for him? That's a good question. Yeah. Really That's a anything. good question. Uh, that might also depend on who wins the Punk McIntyre Rollins fiasco that's going to be going on forever because they're going to do triple threats after this, I'm sure. I think but, that's going to play out all the way to WrestleMania. Yeah, we get so I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, definitely a good question. Um, yeah, I can, see, I can see Seth stepping up sometime early in the, you know, defending. Yeah. These are probably questions that will possibly get answered at SummerSlam. Yes. Because <laughs> I expect a lot of weird schmas and moving pieces and they got to start setting up for, you know, going into Survivor Series. So. so if you look at it so far, two out of the four title matches, we're having two new champs. Correct. Huh. That'll be interesting. So we're pulling for it. Uh, yeah. Hopefully we'll go that way. I don't have faith because that's just the way they do us. But anyway, yep. uh, let's go into Liv and Rhea. I think that would be a this good is the segue. transition. Yes. Match of the night. Match of the night, I don't know if that's true, but uh, shenanigans of the night and drama of the night and yes. storyline of the night, that's probably going to be... 80% 80, 80 drama, yeah. 20%. It's, it's the match I'm most looking forward to. Well, I know. For, 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 for different reasons. Yeah, you would be okay if they just stood in the ring and looked at each other. But I do think it's going to be a fun match. I want to see them fight. I know that you do. We'll give you a second to... You good? You got it under control? Who you got? Uh, I've got Liv. Dominic? I got Liv. What's Dominic One doing? way or the other. What's Dominic doing? I, I, Is he turning on Rhea? No, I, I, I'm honestly going to go with the Damian Priest or Finn Balor is actually with Liv thing. Let me ask the mm. long shot. Well, I think the other is way too obvious. So Sometimes obvious is the right call. Yeah, rarely these days. They like to, they like to, oh wait. Here's one of those insider terms. They like to swerve everybody. Yeah. So yeah. that's kind of where I've been ex what I've been expecting for a while from the storyline. Uh, yeah, I'm like looking over the match matches, and I'm like, which one would they really try to swerve us on? Where they're like, where everybody's thinking is going to go one way, but they're going to say, ha, ha we're going to go this with it. And I would think one, this one. Uh, yeah, I was going to say this one but is probably that. I could see it going the other way too. But True. Yeah. Because, and we've had this conversation too. The whole Dominic thing where he came out and told Liv, I don't, I hate you and yada, yada, yada. Yep. She was crying. That just seemed way too manufactured for me. So it could go either way. But I mean, that's what's, that's what's interesting about this match is I literally don't know what's going to happen. True. And I kind of yep. dig that. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of ways it can go. So they've done a good job with all this whole thing. Exactly. Yeah. So you got Rhea, you got Liv. I got Liv. I got Dom and Liv walking out. Okay. It's on you, sir. I know. Uh, I I I want to say Rhea, but I think it's going to go Liv. I do too, and yeah. I think I think the belt helps Liv more than it helps Rhea. True. So I think. I'm good either way. Yeah. I like both of them. I think they both are doing some of their best work right now. Exactly. But I think Liv's going to hold on to it. Yeah, yeah. And who knows who she's walking out with. <laughs> that could be, could be some interesting uh, drama, even more so. So we all agree, Liv. Yeah. We can move on to the next Liv. match, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, there's a lot to talk about with this one for sure. Punk, McIntyre, Rollins, guest referee. Man, they've been building this since the Rumble. Yeah. Um, that's a long build. Well, was it really before the Rumble? 
Or was it? I mean, a little bit. McIntyre was not pleased that Punk was back with the company. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So what? Survivor Series last year when Punk came back. Right. Rollins threw the fit outside. Yeah, I guess technically it's that long of a build. Yeah. I was just I was more thinking of the McIntyre Punk build has been really strong since that. Yeah. Because didn't uh, didn't also. Well, yeah, Rollins and Punk had a lot to say to each other while Punk was still in AEW. Yeah. Or was it even before that? It was after that. It wasn't McIntyre also pissed off that he was coming in as well? He was not pleased, yes. as far as we know. Right, right. Because, again, we're just fans, so I don't know what's real. Just going not. off of what he was posting. Right. Looked like it. Yeah. Yes. It is my belief that this is all a work. Correct. But yes. What do I know? So, it's been a build almost a year. I mean, it's been eight, nine months. Yeah. It's pretty amazing if you think about it. And the fact that they started the real the real heavy build after Punk got hurt. Yep. And they, they, they've been basically building through promos, through social media, and just through messing with each other. Yeah, I was going to say fights, fights in the background. And not even really fights for a while because Punk couldn't be touched because yeah. he was hurt. True, true, true. Um, so I, I think this has been kind of masterful, you know, as far as basic, like, what can we do until Punk gets back? I don't think you could have done it any better. No, no. Would you agree? No, they've done a really good job. It's carrying, the, carrying the feud the way they have with only one of them there half the time and getting it to the level that they have. It's it's master class material. And McIntyre, it's the best work he's ever done, in my opinion. So we're going to get the SummerSlam 97, was it finished, with Brett, HBK, and The Undertaker. The question is, who's getting wiped out? Who's Rollins taking out? Who's going to duck? Who's going to eat the chair? Who's going to eat the super kick or whatever it is. I mean, I could really, just based on how they keep doing things, I could really see him accidentally hitting Drew and then just kind of shrugging it off, causing Drew the match. Like, not really caring that he did it. And Punk grinning at him and telling him to count, you know. Yeah. I think Punk's going over. He's taking out McIntyre. I think Punk's going over, and I think they're starting to slow build to Punk finally just being a heel because he's eventually going to have to because that's who he is. He can't week, be babyface punk for him. He's already no. losing a little yeah. bit of esteem. They did not cheer his name last week he, when he, he went for it, said the deal, yeah. the fans chant CM Punk, and it just wasn't there. Right. So I think it's coming, and that would be a good way to start that. Because, I mean, just like we said, Rollins accidentally hitting McIntyre or something, Punk falling down for the pin with a shit-eating grin on his face and telling him to count. <laughs> that would be pretty awesome. But okay. anyway, this yeah. is fantasy booking anyway, but... Um, I think Punk goes over. You think Punk goes over. And as everybody knows, I am a huge CM Punk fan. As am I. Chicago fan. I'm part, all, my, all my teams are Chicago. I'm part Chicago You're part fan, of Chicago okay. fans. I'm I'll, I'll full be, on. Only the good part. <laughs> of course, I am going CM Punk. Yeah. Yeah. So, now having said all that, you, you think Rollins is going to be his you know, a major part of what happens. I think I think he'll he'll go a little both ways. You know, screwing around with us, uh, screwing screwing around with both of them, and I'd then say like we're not talking about his outfits. Nope, okay. nope, nope, nope. Yeah, there's no telling. On the subject of the outfits, I understand the whole thing, but the one thing that he's doing that bothers me lately is the heels. He's literally wearing his wife's clothes. It's not even. It's not even about it being a woman's clothes. It's about he'll go and like stand eye to eye with somebody, and I'm like, oh, oh, wait, no, he's yeah. wearing three inch platform heels. That's why he looks taller. And I just don't know if that's a good look for a wrestler to try to wear something to be taller than his opponents. It feels weird to me. Well, is it just me? He is on your team. I'm, you know what? I'm fine with Seth Rollins being on my team. I'm, but anyway, yeah, I was just. It's nothing else except really. I don't like the heels. Yeah. But that's neither here nor there. Now, if, he, if he took one off and hit somebody with it, I'd be okay. Yeah, but I mean, just wear normal <laughs> shoes. You can still wear the puffy stuff and yeah. all the other stuff. Just wear normal shoes. That's all I'm asking. Yeah. Sometimes we, he's going to come out with some, some striped referee shirts and then just short shorts. You think short shorts? I think he's going to come that out with That would be a new shorts. look for Seth Rollins. Yeah. I don't want to think about that. <laughs> I think we're veering off into somewhere we don't need to be. But um, do you think, just because there was some 
other discussions I've had with people with fantasy booking. What if AJ Lee and Becky Lynch got involved somehow with this match? Or is oh, that going to come later on with the Rollins and Punk thing? I think they would save that for the Rumble. It's not a bad idea because then you get AJ showing up in the Rumble. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, Seth and Punk will probably be in the Rumble, wouldn't you think? Not a singles match. Probably. I mean, everything yeah. could obviously change, but, you know, I would think unless there was a title on the line, they would be in the Rumble. Right. Yeah. 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 So. Anything else you want to add to this match? I think we all agree. I think we're all on Punk's the Punk's going to go over. Rollins is going to cost him. McIntyre is going to go further off the deep end. So. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, we're not we're not arguing on a lot of these. So It's almost more fun talking about the AEW. <laughs> we're not here for AEW tonight. That's another episode. We'll get there. Um, I guess we'll go to the main event. Sure. Which, on paper, this match does less than nothing for me. I am not a Cody Rhodes fan, and Solo is way out of his league with this thing they're giving him being the tribal chief. This is not where he needs to be, my opinion. But it's the main event. It's going to be the main event. You would agree that's going on last because there's probably going to be a lot of is there any chance Solo leaves with the belt? No. Nope. Zero. No. Nope. You do you think Solo no, wins? Right. right. Do we get Roman? There's a strong chance that we yeah. get Roman. Yeah, I think there's a, there's a chance that he would just make it like not even mess with the match, but just like show his presence. Like, what are you doing? Like, especially like if he if hopefully he loses, he comes out. He's just like. Shaking his head like, what? what is this? Having said all that, it definitely would please me more than to see Cody Rhodes without that title. <laughs> and Solo holding it, and Reigns' music hits, and that just lets me know that soon everything's going to be made right, and my tribal chief will be the champ again. <laughs> but I don't expect to do that to happen. I think Cody's going to win. I don't, I don't even know why he's got the belt. I still haven't figured it out. Because he's the... He's the Super baby face. He's, he's Wish.com John Cena. He, well, I was about to say, he's the John Cena. If nowadays, you ordered John so, Cena and said, could you hold the charisma, you would get Cody Rhodes. Well, at least Cody has more moves in his set. than He doesn't have any that are original. He's stolen every one of them. That's true. And yeah. he admits it. Freely admits it during interviews. Yeah. And the, But the dumbest thing, I was, the, he did an interview where he was talking about stealing the Oscar. And he said he thinks he does it better. <laughs> and I was like, even though you're trying to be funny, which he fails at doing all the time because he doesn't have a good sense of humor, that's a dumb thing to say because his Oscar cutter is terrible. Anyway, I don't, I'm not a fan. Did I mention that I don't like Cody Rhodes? So I think he's going over because everybody loves Cody Rhodes. And I just can't see Solo being the face of the company. Can I just you? want to see the Tongans get a spot to shine. It would be nice. As long as they don't screw it up. Well, first of all. Yeah, see, there's no You said they. I don't think they have botched anything. Okay. I think one of them has had a couple of issues, and I don't even think they're as bad as everybody has been making them out to be. (laughs) As Brian and I will look at each other. (laughs) I will allow Brian to discuss the Tongans because that's his arena. Well, That's his area. While we're discussing the main card here and the Tongans, we got to roll it back to SmackDown because there's two SummerSlam, quote, SummerSlam matches that are happening on SmackDown this week, including the Tongans. Well, one Tongan and one Samoan werewolf. Tama Tonga and his <laughs> new partner, Jacob Fatu, yep. up against DIY for the tag time. Why is this not on the main card? Why is this not on the pre-show? I don't know, but it's on SmackDown. I'm hoping that it won't be on the main, the, the paper, the, the premium live event. I almost said yeah. the bad word. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping that it's not on there because it's going to be what you and I have discussed privately, that it, this should be a squash. A bushwhacking. Yes. Yeah. They should roll right through but DIY. Not, but not and I like DIY. It is nothing against DIY. I am a fan of DIY. But the Tongans should be, and the Samoan, the bloodline tag team should be booked as monsters. First. Jacob Fatu is a monster. When I heard and, they took... Tangaloa out of the match and they paired Tama up with yeah. Jacob Fatu. I was disappointed being a fan of the Gorillas. 
and they pointed out on commentary though that it's actually the, the sons of the islanders at that point and their dads right the team together right yeah, yeah. and that kind of took a little bit of the sting away knowing it's cool because we watched the islanders back in the day and it's literally their kids in the ring right. so yeah, i don't true. know if uh tangaloa is concussed or injured still from the show or if that's still i would say he's concussed like, but I don't have an official. Well, they blinded him. KO or Orton or somebody. He had an eye patch on on SmackDown last week. Yeah, but yeah. it was that bump on the at the commentary table where he went head first into that thing. Well, I mean, the back you know, they, on it. they're supposed to have very hard head, so you would think that he would be able to bounce back from that. He's got a hard head, but whiplash <laughs> to the neck <laughs> like that doesn't. Yeah, it looked pretty rough. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, I would. I, I think that's probably why they're not making it. I don't think it's going to be a match match. I think it's going to be a beating. Unfortunately for DIY. But we'll probably be wrong again. And they'll stretch it out. So, What's the other match? What were, you, right. what were you saying before? No, we were talking about the SmackDown matches, the SummerSlam matches that got bumped to SmackDown. The other okay. one was the Witch Girls against Jade and Bianca. Does anybody care about that or have an idea who's going to win? Uh, I like the Witch Girls better than you like the Witch Girls. Uh, one of them, I like one of them better than the other. I don't yeah. know which. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah I think I feel the same. You like Aladdin better than you like Alba Fire. Yeah. Okay. Well, I agree fine. with that statement. So, so um, I don't care about the match, really. I mean, do you. Th I, for me, the best case scenario is this match somehow builds tension between Jade and Beyond. Do you think they're done with Jade? Because there's online speculation. I don't think they're done with Jade. I think Jade needs to be who Jade usually is, and she's not a smiley, I love everybody slapping so, high fives. That's not who she they, is. They learned with her with all the, you know, the matches. Some of the spots didn't come off clean. They came off sloppy, and they kind of de-emphasized her a little bit. It's noticeable from how hard they were pushing her. She's already kind of relegated to background on SmackDown now. Yeah. So, uh, I think they... Is the experiment over is the question. I don't believe it's over. I think if that's, if that is the case, then maybe she'll go down to NXT and run through them and get some more development. Which I, I was kind of like, I've heard from other wrestling fans that she was not a great wrestler and then when they signed her i was like and they're going to kind of throw her right into the mix of all like they should have done the same thing with like breaker yeah gone right into nxt s destroy them learn a little bit more yeah. and then bumped up to uh, the main the main roster you think either one of those matches deserve to be on the main card I mean, maybe the men's tag match, if it isn't going to be what we think it should be. I mean, if it's going to be an actual, you know, 10-minute match or something like yeah. that, I think it deserves to be on the main card. Yeah, I agree. But the other one, that could be pre-show. Yeah. And there's really not that much there. I mean, I know it's their rematch, but, I mean, I haven't really seen them do much of anything for a while anyway. So. No, I haven't, mean, yeah. They haven't been on my much of my radar, so right. So yeah, that match isn't really doing anything for me. So I could see it being on pre-show, no problem with that. But I guess they're both on SmackDown. Is that what we're saying? That's what we're saying. Okay. Well, I'll be tuning into SmackDown. <laughs> and uh, I guess that's is that everything? Yeah, yeah I think we I think covered them the all. Main, yeah. So, so I think we we're expecting two new champs. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of drama. A lot of. Um, Swerves, I don't know. Is that what we want to say? But not a lot of shenanigans. Not Strickland. What do you think? Yeah, about not Strickland. A, a full card of singles matches. Uh, I don't have a problem with it being a full card of singles matches, but like I, like we were saying, I, I think it would be nice to have the tag title match on there, the men's tag at least. Yeah. There's not really any variation. These are all just straight one on one singles. These are all rules. except yeah, for the nice. triple the uh, guest referee. There's yeah, really not yeah. much going on as far as stipulations. Um, and you're obviously going to need time for Liv and Rhea. And you're going to obviously need time for, in my opinion, Cody and Solo and, and Punk and McIntyre. The main three that we're wanting to see. Yeah, you're going to need time for all the extracurricular activities in those matches. So yeah. I don't have a problem with the card set up the way it is. Overall, where you think it's going to rank? Good show or not? I think it's going to be a good show. I've been actually looking forward to this I show. I think it's decent on paper at best. The undercard's not really exciting to me, just the main yeah. three matches. I think the build's been good for some of these matches. And it's, making, it's made me look forward to them. For the most part. But I'm not really too overall impressed with the total package of the show here. I think yeah. it's going to be very top-heavy. I think it's going to deliver. Yeah. And I think the main event's going to be weak. 
but I think all the extracurricular stuff afterwards will be interesting. I think we get the rock. That would be nice. That would be nice. Uh, I don't ever want to say we're going to get the rock because we've said it forever, like multiple times, and you never get it. And then we got spoiled last year, this past year. Yeah. So I don't want to say it. I mean, he's obviously going to come back to try to build for WrestleMania, so he doesn't necessarily have to do it now, right? I think everybody's expecting Roman back, so the rock coming back would be the move. If they can get him and he's free, bring him back, and we'll kind of do the, the big reveal. Well, he's there. Like, I mean, make it happen. He's on the board. Uh, I would love to see that. Yeah, I don't know if he's busy, quote unquote, with uh, any movies right now. So, I think it would just uh, intense the the fire for everyone wanting to see Roman come back if we go ahead and because the Bloodline 2.0, as much as I love the Tongans, it's not really happening right now. It's not. And they need no. the Rock. So before they bring Roman back, a smart move. Yeah. Uh, smart Money's bringing the Rock back first because Blood Point 2.0. Bloodline 2.0 is not really getting it done. So the smart money is bringing the rock back now, get this angle hot again before they reintroduce Roman Reigns. That's that's where I'm going. So SummerSlam finale, we're not getting Roman, we're getting the rock. It works for me. I have zero problem with that. But yeah. yeah I'm good either way. I think that he was thrown into the main role. Yeah. And so he's just going with it. Okay, well, I guess that about wraps it up then. I mean, that's all the matches we can possibly cover for this weekend. That's right. Um, again, I want to thank everybody for listening. Uh, both of you that listened, I want to thank you. <laughs> everybody, who is that? But it's, it's my mom and who else? Carol and who else? And Philip. Philip, you think Philip's going to listen? Philip McConnell. Philip might listen. It's a good guy. He may yep. not listen because this is there's no AEW content on him. That's right. I said AEW once. Okay, that works. He's in. I'll, I'll still tag him. You know, AEW on there. You do that. Just a shout out to Philip Scoops McConnell. <laughs> Original Hill section. That's right. That's right. And uh, yeah, that's our time for today. Again, we are live from Coletco in Lebanon, Tennessee. What is Coletco, you might ask? Well, it's a place where you can get all the things that you collect. If you collect vinyl records, they got that. Lots. Funko Pops. Got it. Got them. Action figures. Got it. What Com about comic books? Oh, they got comic books. What about autograph memorabilia? Baseball cards, coin and knife. What, what else? What else do you collect? They got it. That's right. That's why it's called Collectco. And you should give them a follow on their Facebook page. Just my opinion. Collectco. Lebanon, Tennessee. Proud sponsor of the official Hill Section podcast. And uh, that's my time. Guys, you got anything to add? Cool. See you next week. That's right. All right. We'll discuss how right or wrong we were about SummerSlam. Everybody enjoy the show this weekend, and we'll talk to you next time.